my sister. How old did she live? I think she lived to be maybe 38, 39. She died of a wretched, wretched cancer. Fucking wretched cancer. She didn't really even tell anybody for the longest time. Nobody. She kept it to herself. That lady was a fucking trooper. She fought. Just because she didn't tell anybody doesn't mean she didn't fight. She fought fucking hard. My sister, man, strongest motherfucking woman I had ever met in my goddamn life. So I think about her, and I think about how hard she fought, and how, how she didn't want anybody to know her by that. She was not a victim. That's for fucking sure. She's not a victim. And, uh, run in with this fucking 84 year old and and I've been getting this a lot here since this is a hospital town <sighs> there's a lot of people who go through shit and so personally I see it a lot and a lot and a lot so it's not acute to me but I see these people and they're uh well I'm this and what this guy what did he say he said about himself <sighs> That this was an affliction and, and like, he's like, what else does life want to put on me? And what else does, it's just like, what the fuck, dude? Like, I get angry. I get so fucking angry because you know who didn't do that? My fucking sister. My sister fucking fought. Like, every day was a fucking gift. Dude, she was going to Mexico, riding fucking Harley Davidsons, doing any fucking and every fucking thing she could while she was here. That was it. You didn't hear that fucking woman complain. Not a fucking bit. At least I didn't. I, I'm, I'm sure she got down sometimes, but Jesus fucking Christ, man, that woman was tough. Tough. Hell yeah. Man, she was fucking tough. So I hear these people just complain about how long they've lived on Earth. How dare somebody... That's, that's my, that's, like, that's what it comes down to me, to me. It's like, that's the thought when I'm looking at them, listening to this person come fucking plain about what else, and it's always this, and it's just like, fucking seriously, man, my sister would have fucking loved to attain, right? How dare they? There's so many people that don't get to live half their fucking age. If they fucking complain. There are, you know, I meet homeless people out here on the fucking street that complain far fucking less than these people. It's ridiculous. Just complaining. Everybody's just fucking, oh, look at me. I, I, you have, like what? Food. Oh, it's expensive. You have it. It's fucking really weird. Be happy. People come into my shop all the time. Not my shop, but you know what I mean. My shop. And they'll uh, ask me how I'm doing. And I have this thing that I like to say to them. I, I like to tell them all that I'm doing really fucking well, you know. I get excited about waking up above ground. Right. I get excited about waking up. There's so many people that don't get to do that. And it's, it's not lost on me. Every single fucking day. Absolutely not lost on me. Ah, what a thing, huh? What a thing. Gotta love it. I hope I'm 84 years old someday. That'd be really cool. Yeah.